Where is the best place to invest in real estate? Welcome back. In this episode, I'll answer your question, where is the best place to invest in real estate? Well, I've had a lot of experience in real estate. I started in 1970. However, the last 30 years, I've specialized in tax lien certificates and tax deeds. Now, why did I do that? Because I think this is the best place to buy real estate, and I'll demonstrate why over the next few minutes. However, if you ask 10 different real estate investors, where is the best place to invest? I'll bet you get 10 different answers. So let me give you one that you'll find valuable. I'm going to show you one of the safest and most secure investments and we'll get most of the risk out of the investment because we'll buy at rock bottom dollar. You can get started for 500 bucks or 100,000. Wherever you want to start, you can start there. Now, before I go further and get into the nitty gritty of the deal, I want to tell you at the end of this video, I'll point out two mistakes. And those two mistakes people make at the auction, I'd like to show you how to avoid those. So stay tuned. Well, I'm going to start out right with an example. I'll call him Mr. B. Now, what he noticed was that at tax defaulted auction, call those tax deed auctions, they were selling for pennies on the dollar and he could buy with a credit card. Wow, buy with a credit card. So that means he didn't have to have any money. Well, he qualified for that. He didn't have a lot of money when he started, that's for sure. Well, Mr. B purchased a single family home for $5,000 at the auction. It was worth 35 to 50,000, depending upon who was doing the assessment and who was figuring out the market but he only spent $5,000. He immediately put a for sale sign on the property. And along with that sign, he wrote down installment sale available. Now, installment sale available is the way people buy cars, refrigerators, TVs. America buys on installments. When people that need housing that don't have good credit, they're looking for a sign that says installment sale. So he put installment sale up. And before you know it, his ads on Craigslist, his ads on eBay, his ads on Facebook Marketplace were all working because it said installment sale. These are the people that want to buy that property. Yes, they have some credit issues. They don't have good FICO scores, but they want to buy a property and you want to sell one. So that makes a good investment. They want to buy, you want to sell. So what's the best place to invest? It's always where you can make the money the quickest and the safest. So let's talk about that. Now, real estate is something you want to think about. Real estate can go up and it can go down. I buy at tax defaulted auctions because we're buying at such low prices. You see, the treasurer, if he doesn't collect the taxes or she doesn't collect the tax, she's going to confiscate the house and then she's going to boot the tenants out. They're not going to be nice about it. They're just going to push anybody that's in the house out and they're going to resell the property. Why? They want the property on the tax roll. When they resell the property, they do not try to get maximum dollar. They just try to get it sold. Now, do you want to buy any old property? No, you want to look at it first. But in this case, it's going to be easy to do. Why? Because the properties are discounted 60, 70, and 80%. Plus, and this will surprise you, the mortgage is wiped out. That's right, it's wiped out. There's no mortgage on the property. Why no mortgage on the property? Because the tax collector makes the rules. And if the property comes for auction, they wipe out the mortgage. The property is now going to be sold at 70, 80 percent discount, sometimes more, and no mortgage. Is that the way to get all the inflation out of the market? Definitely. All right. So what's the best place to buy real estate? I say at tax default to property auctions because number one, it's safe and secure. Number two, those properties are discounted 60, 70, 80 percent, and they have no more mortgage. Now, if the local county treasurer is going to sell you a property with no mortgage, you got a chance to make some real money. So they start that bidding at a low price. Do other people want the property? Yes. But other people aren't prepared. You're going to be prepared and you're going to have money to buy these. All right. So once again, the treasurer can wipe out, can extinguish the mortgage. So now you're in for a bargain deal. You can purchase these properties at the lowest price possible. So what did my friend do? Sure enough, he went in, purchased the property for $5,000. Then he turned around and sold it and accepted monthly payments. Well, how does that work? Well, very simply, it's an installment contract. We call it in real estate, a contract for sale. 
All right. Now, when we contract and sell that way, we get monthly payments. In this case, he accepted, first of all, a down payment, and then he accepted $350 a month or $4,200 a year. $350 a month. And the person that bought it pays the taxes, pays the insurance, and has to take care of the property. So that means he gets a clear $350 a month. That's $4,200 a year. He only invested $5,000. Gets almost all his money back in one year. All right. He got it all back on the down payment anyway. So now for 10 years, he gets $4,200 a year. Now, total investment was $5,000. Now think about it. $5,000 invested, and now he gets $4,200 a year for 10 years. That's $42,000. Where are you going to make $42,000 on a $5,000 investment? Where are you going to make an 80% return every year? You see, the investment of five thousand is bringing in forty-two hundred. That's an eighty percent annualized return. Not a bad deal. You want to think about that. Now, before I go, I'm going to do two questions from the floor. I'm a, an investor, and I don't want to make small deals. Well, just because you invested five thousand dollars and came out with forty thousand, I wouldn't call that a small deal. You want to buy big deals? Uh, who am I to stop you to do that? Every property at auction isn't sold for five thousand dollars. I can assure you on that. One of the best states to buy tax deeds. Folks, they're all good. It's just a matter of how you do the research. For example, New York and Michigan will allow you to use a credit card. Texas will make a deal so that when you buy the property, they only give the property owner 180 days, and then you're going to own the property. In California, sometimes they discount property all the way down to $100. So I say every state is good. It's the deal that makes it good. Let's talk about those two mistakes. Mistake number one, don't buy a property unless you've looked at it. Why? What if there was a hurricane yesterday? What if there was a fire last night? Anything could happen to a property if you haven't looked at it. Could have been a flood, could have been a windstorm. Lots of things could go wrong. Now, if you haven't looked at the property, it might be next to a chicken farm. I don't think you want to buy one next to a chicken farm. How are you going to resell it? So don't look at this is a big mistake. If you don't look at the property, you're going to get yourself in trouble. I see it happening all the time. People buy properties they can't resell. Second big mistake that happens is many investors are really excited about the auction. They want to make money. They want to get into it. And they start buying properties that they haven't planned their exit strategy. Now, an exit strategy simply says to you and your investors, look, if we're going to do this, what are we going to sell it for? So you don't want to buy something that you don't know what you can sell it for because you'll just keep bidding to win the auction. You don't want to win the auction. You want to buy it at a price where you can resell it. If you haven't thought about the reselling and the exit, you could get yourself in trouble. Now, I want you to stay tuned because right below me, I have a gift for you. It's called the Safe Haven. This is a nice little course that will teach you about tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property. So you want to take advantage of that. Just go below me and register.